thousand. What would your mind say? What'd you say? What'd you what'd you think? Did you think anything? He was just when, when I hit a thousand, I was like, <laughs> What really? <laughs> <laughs> because statistically, right. you have to put up about 200 some videos to get to a thousand on yeah. average. Wow. And I did not expect because we we've used all these social media platforms, and I like I like talking to people like me. Like we don't have no huge audiences, like celebrity status, where we can jump on and there's 500 people showing up. Yeah. So I didn't expect YouTube to be any different. I just expected it to be you know methodical. It's going to be a process. You got to be consistent. Right? Yeah. But it really grew so fast. So when I got to that thousand mark, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. And then it just kept exponentially growing and yeah. so then i would get to five thousand, and you, you know you get to these milestones and you're like okay i, I need to recognize the milestone but before right. i could do my five thousand video i got the 7500 bit um subscribers so it just kept growing and growing i'm like so i haven't even i haven't even enjoyed the 1000 yet like because right. I, I didn't think right. my channel would grow this fast my goal for the year was to get about five thousand. you know I was just throwing it out there, just a work hard type of goal. Right. You know, you, sometimes you throw those goals out there. If you don't really think you'll reach, but you're going to throw it so far out there that you're going to exceed the goal that you know you can reach. So I knew I could get a thousand probably. So right. I was anywhere between a thousand five. I was good. So I'm way beyond what I thought this channel would be right now. Welcome to another episode of the Brothers Who Talk with Terry and AD. This podcast is about men talking about everyday shenanigans, the stuff that makes us mad, to the topics that concern why in the world that these guys have a podcast. Let's get to it. Welcome back, though. It's okay. Welcome back to another episode of the Brothers Who Talk. Listen. I hope that you guys, everybody who's listening on YouTube and, and all across all the podcasting platforms, that you had a great week. Um, yes, indeed. We're going to get right into the business, right? So the first thing we're going to yes, do, indeed. we'll talk about what made you mad this week. So my my son, who is three, you guys, well, AD knows that, but Tamante doesn't, but he's, he is three, and he is autistic and he is nonverbal. So we put him in a uh, developmental preschool. Um, and so we set all that up like last year, early last year, and they had a bus coming to pick him up, supposed to, and, um, you know, had all that arranged. So the first day of school was yesterday, and they told us that would, the bus would be there at our house to pick him up at 7.58. Now, mind you, my son's autistic, so mm -hmm. with, with children who are autistic, they don't have a lot of patience, uh, and, and, and they can only stand in one spot for, you know, right. a little bit of time. So, um, so... It was to be here at seven fifty eight. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna let that sink in. <laughs> seven fifty eight is supposed to be here. Mm. Seven fifty eight. Got that. Come, goes, right. Mm. No bus shows up the first day of school. Wow. At all. Oh. At all. Wow. At all. So my my wife had wow. to end up taking him to school, and then the school decided to freak out because. Uh, she had to come into school because she had his stuff, his supplies, and all that. <laughs> well, you can't come in here. Right, right, right. right. There you go. Yeah. Chick, well, I wouldn't have to come in here. That's what it came. You feel me? Right. So I'm mad at the Twin Falls School mm. District for not having a bus mm. for my kid. Let me tell you something about my boy now. I, ain't gonna fight. I will fight you. <laughs> I will. Hey, I rock orange and flip flops. <laughs> Nice, you know what I'm saying. So don't don't play with me. But they 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 and then today was the second day of school, no bus. Oh, actually, the bus came at like eight fifteen. Wait, hold on, seven fifty eight. Yeah, that, that's still in your spirit just for a second, brother. It was have been here at seven fifty eight, and wow. then they didn't get. They come picking him up at eight fifteen, and then when I get on the bus, they're like, oh. Uh, well, you can go ahead and put him in his seat if you want to. You know what? Go ahead and take him to school before. I'll tell you what I got to say. You feel me? I ain't got time for all that. Uh, That's what I was mad about. That's what I was mad about. That's my, my week. That's why I was mad. So all in one my, stroke. Mr. So what bothered you? To, yeah, this week, Monty. What uh, bothered you? All right. So recently got married, which is a good thing. Recently moved into a new home, which is a good wow. thing. Wow. All right. So, all right. but I have my own space. Which oh, is man. why I'm now mad, which, which <laughs> is like a good thing. 
So it gives me, you know, reason to decorate, set up my space right. how I want. Got right. this nice new monitor, you know, big mm. old 49 inches of real estate that I can work with. Yeah. <laughs> but here's where I'm at. I cannot get this thing to work right. Every time I walk away to, from the computer, yes. it times out and it moves oh. everything every single time. Now I'm the techie. <laughs> And I just spent way too much time trying to figure out this techie issue of why I can't no. go take a bathroom break and then come back and my stuff is in the same spot. Right. I can't figure it out. So I, I've been mad, still mad, and um, I need to be unmad by the end of the day. So. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Who, who is the manufacturer of your stuff? Like, no, no, I can't call out the manufacturer because I do love their products. So. Okay. About their okay. products, so um, okay. hopefully, uh, as long as it's not we'll dollar. talk about that too, because YouTube be sending me stuff, so I don't want to throw nobody under the bus. <laughs> right now. Oh, by no means, by no means, right. we're not right. gonna do any of that. No, not by any of that. But bro, like I said, you know, in the beginning of the broadcast, we were glad that you're here. Yes, we, we know you're gonna drop a whole bunch of YouTube nuggets because yes. let's say something about YouTube for me. I don't know about eighty. <laughs> I don't had about two. I don't had about ten YouTube channels. Hmm. When you want to know, I drop. I dropped them all because people are mean. Wow, people are mean on YouTube. Wow. And everybody has an opinion, right? Yeah, everybody. Yeah, and even the ones that don't have a, it, and even the ones that have like two subscribers mm -hmm. with, with all this stuff. Like, mm -hmm. Shut up, you know what I'm saying? But YouTube Hold is on. a hard nut to crack. So, Hold on, let me tell you why I'm mad. See this right here? It's the iPhone. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand. Right? See right here? That's that's called the charging plug, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You take a charging plug. It's plugged into the wall. And you stick it in here, it should just work. Right. Right. Why? Why does it not work? Why does it have to be a specific plug <laughs> to charge your phone? <laughs> it go in. There's power. It says, oh, it's working. Oh no, we don't recognize that device. <laughs> like, oh. I don't, I don't, I don't understand the mechanics of why you can't just charge your phone. I've had to buy one. I got four charges in this house. Four. I had to buy a fifth one, a new one, right. just for it to work. Somebody explain the thing. Somebody. That, that, that yeah. means they're about to come out with a new phone. That's what that means. That's what that means. What, and which which iPhone is that? That's well, the eleven, is, right? Yeah. This okay. is. Yeah, I know. So we got the, we I, got the same. Uh, we got the same iPhone eleven. Uh, here. I know. You know and it's, I, I'm, so it's not pink. It's red. So y'all know. Mind no, you, okay. when are we gonna when yeah. are we gonna get a class action against these guys against this stuff? Because they, yeah. they do it and they keep and we we all know they do it. We I, know. I, I, I got one the other day from I want to say it was Google was one of the companies out here. But everybody, you know, the number sounds real big, but when you divide it out, everybody got their one dollar and ninety-two cent. So. <laughs> listen, listen, I'll know. take my dollar ninety-two. Just stop with the shenanigans. Can yeah. I can I have my phone for years and do an update? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what happens. Do an update and not have to worry about it flaking okay. out. Okay. But I'm gonna let it go. I'm letting it go. That's what I'm mad doing. I'm mad this week because I'm about sick of them. I is sick. You say you're about them. I'm about sick of them. <laughs> you ain't about sick of them, are you? I'm about yeah. sick of them. All right. That is crazy. But listen, I'm, I'm waiting for this video to upload real quick. So we're gonna run a kind of a small commercial here. But um how long you been? I know it's, we not got to Monty and and the, the man the half hour part yet. But I'm just curious right right off the bat. Uh, how long you been rocking YouTube? Uh, this year, January. <laughs> Come on, we'll be, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hold, hold that thought right there. All right. Woo, that's, now, listen, if you listen, listen, to <laughs> listen before you even say anything, your face was like, you know, you know, like he was. <laughs> let me show you my before picture. I was three hundred pounds <laughs> in, two, in two months. Look at this six. <laughs> like, what? Uh, <laughs> like, every day, every day, I go to the gym. <laughs> Four years now. <laughs> you know what? <where? laughs> we gonna get to that in a minute. That's some juicy stuff, but. The, the, the commercial I just had, the ad that I just ran, the guys that are listening to yes. that audio, you did not hear any verbiage. That's okay. But that is for the Brothers of Legacy that we do. Me and AD are part of that group. 
Yes, uh, actually, me and AD co-founded the Brothers of Legacy, yes, uh, and we do a thing called Freestyle Friday, Friday. Yes, and we cut the crazy, and we we all we serious Monday through Thursday. We talk about everything running in the sun, right. but Fridays we cut the crazy. So yes. that's when you come and have fun and like to uh, kick up your feet and all that. So make yeah. sure you join us if you're on Facebook, Periscope, um, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right. All right. So now we're going to get into the fun part right. of this podcast. And this yes. is uh, uh, we're going to introduce the man of the half hour. Uh, yes. Mr. Monty Monty. Weaver. And don't spell it with a Y. It's wrong. <laughs> 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 so spell it with a Y. It is absolutely <laughs> wrong. And I had to learn that before yes. we went live here. <laughs> because I put in like Monty. Because I'm thinking Monty Python. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, nah, that ain't right. <laughs> you know, so, but anyway, here we go. So the secrets of a YouTube. The yes, secrets but, of YouTube. But before we get to that, right? Before we get into that. Because there's always, it's always, there's always a build up. There's always, it's always a build up. up. Not right. Always. You know, like People don't kind of well. Some people kind of jump into stuff and they just rock it. But right. how long you how long have you been live streaming? So live streaming yes. four years. Okay. So okay. I did. I kind of accidentally got into live streaming. Yeah. By by nature, I'm an introvert. So yeah. me being on camera is not something that I want to yeah, do. Yeah, introverts do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm a techie. Right. So what I was doing when. Facebook Live and Periscope came out is I was just playing with the platforms. I was going live, but I was going live sharing videos. Uh, okay. And at the time, that was brand new. That was that was new. That wasn't even really an option for the everyday consumer. But by background, I knew how to do it. And gotcha. so I was just playing with that part of live video. So that's how I kind of stumbled into it before I actually turned on the camera and then <laughs> said hi to the world. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Because I know um, the way I met you, and probably like a lot of other people, was through Periscope, mm -hmm. and and you were one of the early adapters of OBS, um, mm -hmm. and and working that. Uh, what was that experience like um, growing your channel on on Periscope? So at the time, I, I I won't even say growing it because I wasn't trying to grow it. I was I was really just on there because someone had asked me to get on there and said teach people how to do this so i didn't really have an end game for myself i remember doing a class on how to do obs and i, I taught this class for four hours everybody wanted to know how can i share my screen how can i put images and video all this stuff on the screen okay well I'll, I'll show you how to do it i literally didn't have a class i didn't have like a, a pre-sale lead up to it i just right. had one yeah. webinar i couldn't right. i couldn't sell you a replay i had none of my own stuff built out I, it was all new to me so i was just teaching people what i already knew how to do it was just now at the consumer level so it, it all started from there yeah on periscope and you know there's still people that leverage the platform um and it's it, it allowed me to grow an audience for sure using okay. video and live streaming all right yeah yeah <laughs> so, so I am on your YouTube channel page right now. The, the, the new one I started this year. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how how did you get into YouTube? How did you stumble into it all? What made no. you start on YouTube? So, so YouTube is one of these social media platforms that I think a lot of us know we we can really leverage if we want to, but it's kind of right. intimidating right. because we look at these channels yeah. and we're like, oh man, that. I can never reproduce what this person did. Right. And then I was, you know, sitting back at the end of 2019 and I was just thinking like, man, I've put up so many, so much content on these other social media platforms. Right. And if I want to reference it, I can't really give you a place right. to go to get right. the information I talked about six months. So right. I was like, okay, I need to really focus in and try to adopt this YouTube thing. Um, I, right. I know people are making good revenue from YouTube. I know they're right. building these audiences from YouTube. The information staying up there forever on YouTube. Right. And so 2020, January 2020, I just made the decision to focus solely on YouTube, still using the other platforms to some degree, but really I just wanted to create content specifically for YouTube. And when I got started, I had my Google account like a lot of us and I had 126 random people that were already subscribed <laughs> to the channel throwing up random stuff over the last four years from okay. business stuff, day trading and tech right. stuff, anything that I I was familiar with. Right. But 
I, I started from scratch. I literally deleted everything that was there, everything that was there. And I started with no videos at the beginning of this year and the 126 subscribers. So some people say zero to 10,000. I just, I tell them I said 126 to 10,000. <laughs> just keep it real, right? Keep it real. I had a couple more extra people on sure. right? um, But yeah, so it, it all started with just thinking, okay, where can I put my content that it'll live longer right. and that I could just reach more people in right. general? Right. Okay. So, so what was your initial struggle starting the YouTube channel or if there was one? I, I, it, getting over the fear of just being on camera, really. Um, okay. A, after building up the live stream, you know, turn on the camera, I got over that. So it wasn't as big a hurdle to jump into YouTube, but okay. that's, that's always been my struggle. Even right now, creating videos is still my struggle because I have to turn on the camera. And like we said at the beginning, uh, you know, people who have their opinions, they, they will be nasty to you. Some people right. are supportive. It's always great to get right. those. But you know that going into YouTube, that there are going to be right. people that are going to leave comments. Right. And so, you know, those of us that are authentic and real and we're just trying to get out a message, we just right. want to get out our message. We're not going to be perfect every single time we say it. We might miss, a, you know, a step or two, but we're right. giving this freely on the platform. It's like right. okay, you at least think, OK, you just say thank you or right. hey. Next time, can you cover this? But just don't right. try to slam me for for sitting here, taking the time, recording a video, doing all this effort to get it out there to people. So once you can kind of get through that hurdle of, okay, there's gonna be some people, naysayers, all this stuff. You know, I tell people, if, if you have a gift, you have knowledge and information, YouTube is just a platform where you just give it away. You just talk right. to the camera, you just give it away and you put it up there. And the people that are looking for you, they're going to find you because that's what they're typing into search. And so right. that's right. how these channels are starting to really grow. Right. So, you know, you've been doing it since January and I'm, I'm truly uh, at, at an, in awe of that because mm -hmm. So many people would have quit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's what period of time, you know. But you went from 126, yeah, closing in on 11,000 now, yeah, already. So, with that success, with that, with that, because I know if you're a true live streamer like me in ADR, we, we don't do it for numbers, uh, we do it for the person that's gonna listen to the content or what have you. Mm -hmm. Um, when you hit 10,000. What was your mindset? What'd you say? What'd you, what'd you think? Did you think anything? It was just when, when I hit a thousand, I was like, <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> because statistically, right. you have to put up about 200 some videos to get to a thousand on yeah. average. Wow. And yeah. I did not expect because we we've used all these social media platforms. And I like I like talking to people like me, like we don't have no huge audiences like celebrity status where we can jump on and there's 500 people showing up. Yeah. So I didn't expect YouTube to be any different. I just expected it to be, you know, methodical. It's going to be a process. You got to be consistent. Right. Yeah. But it really grew so fast. So when I got to that thousand mark, I was like, OK, this is pretty cool. And then it just kept exponentially growing and yeah. so then i would get to five thousand, and you, you know you get to these milestones and you're like okay i, I need to recognize the milestone but before right. i could do my five thousand video i got the 7500 um subscribers so it just kept growing and growing i'm like so i haven't even i haven't even enjoyed the 1000 yet like because right. I, I didn't think right. my channel would grow this fast. My goal for the year was to get about 5,000. You know, I was right. just throwing it out there just to work hard type of goal. Right. You know, sometimes you throw those goals out there. You don't really think you'll reach, but you're going to throw it so far out there that you're going to exceed the goal that you know you can reach. So I knew I could get a thousand probably. So right. I was anywhere between a thousand five. I was good. So I'm way beyond what I thought this channel would be right now. And wow. um, it's it's definitely paid its dividends you know by doing other social media platforms because you kind of you know get your feet wet on those platforms and, right um and you and you learn from those experiences and you just translate it to another platform wow, wow. that's dope so that's dope. um did it okay so let me ask you this because it's funny that you say that you didn't get a chance to enjoy because i've watched videos and they're like hey guys we're trying to get to three thousand right and you look mm -hmm. at the surprises they had three hundred thousand <laughs> you know like you're like uh yeah you su superseded you know what you were trying to get right. did did once you got to thousand 
did the ball move faster? You know, the, mm -hmm. the growth happened more. Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So I had put up about, um, so, so I'm in the digital marketing advertising space and I work a lot with uh, the real estate industry, realtors, home builders. Um, and so all my uh, first videos of this year uh, were all catered to the real estate, how to help them use social media digital. Right. And those videos didn't take off. So I had those, what I thought would happen. I had like my 30 videos up there. None of them were getting more than a hundred views. Okay. I understand that's how, you know, I'm new to YouTube. Right. So it wasn't really until I put up a video about how to live stream for churches. Oh, so what, gotcha. what happened was I timed the video timing was perfect. And okay. you know, AD, you right. know what I mean? Since I, I've taught live stream, I've taught it a right. long time ago. Oh, yeah. long right, so right. it's not new information. So okay. what I did was just put it on the YouTube platform this time. Uh, okay. And that video took off. So you had, churches trying to figure out how do I still spread the message around the world or, or how do I spread the message to my congregants that can't even come into the building anymore. So right. they, they were finding the video, people around the world were finding the video and right. that's the one that really catapulted the YouTube growth. So right. I think a video has over 150,000 views right now. And thankfully, you know, it's a church video. So I got a lot of good comments on that one. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so that one really spawned the channel growing. And, okay. uh, and I followed it up with another video similar to it, just because I saw how well that one was doing. And then that's really how you play the YouTube game is, is you right. give people what they're looking for. And, right. you know, especially the times that we're living in right now, there's so right. many people on a platform. There's so many right. people looking for answers. You were just talking about your kids and computers right. not working. And right. so right. school and videos are going right. crazy right now on right. YouTube because everybody's looking for answers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube is the go to. I yes. mean, if you want to learn how to change your sunroof, <laughs> like, go to YouTube. Yeah, you know, nope. that, you know. everything, everything. Yep. For a call repair person, let me see if I can fix this myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. How, how many you times have you do it? Right. I've done it for the heating. I've done it to change the light bulb on my car. You know, right. in these channels, these people that are putting up this content, not only yes. are they giving value back to us, but yes. they're building it where they're giving, they're generating revenue yeah. from these right. platforms. Yeah. They're getting yeah. so many people. Right. Uh, how do I change the oil on my car? Well, right. I mean, if you got a million people trying to figure out the same question, right. it was worth that content creator's time to go and take the camera outside to his car and explain right. to people how to do it. It took right. him, this is what he does every single day. <laughs> not like, yeah, nothing he did different. Right. Yeah, he's not doing anything different. It doesn't take him any more effort other than turning on the camera at that point. So right. that's all we have to do on YouTube is turn on the camera and talk about what it is that we do. And uh, people that want to find us and looking for us, they're going to find us. Right. Yeah. For right. Sure. All right. I, I will say sometimes, though, you know, the people that do it every day, you forget that. Like mm -hmm. I was struggling with this bush. I was like, how do you take this bush down? So I looked it up. I had the right tools, but they were professional. So they went in there like 20 minutes. Boom, boom, boom. It took me about two hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but oh, yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, my arm up and everything doing that mess. But but you know how to do it. Like, that one you, you get that correct instruction from someone that does it all the time. This is how you do it. This, mm -hmm. you know, this is the best way to do it, you know. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's so what? Okay, so you got your growth, you got your your momentum. Mm -hmm. Um, do you do you find it's okay? So is one well one of the secrets I guess would be getting that right, the timing, and and the right content, and mm -hmm. having one at least one video explode gives you an opportunity for the rest of your videos to to catch some some shine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so really what you want to do on YouTube is I, I, I treat all the platforms the same. They're, they're all a game to me. Um, and so I'm, I'm trying to learn what's the game of YouTube. And so the game of YouTube is you have to know what people are looking for. Right. So before I even start on a video, I'm looking at your YouTube searches. What, what is being searched right now in YouTube? Right. And then I create a video based on that specifically. So I'm not going to, I tell people, don't get creative. This is not the platform to get creative on. I want to do a video on this. I want to talk about this. 
right. because if there's nobody looking for it, you'll never get an audience. So right. once you understand what people are searching for, and I mean specifically, what are they typing in the chat? And it literally has a little drop down and shows you what people are typing in. Right. Then you create a video based on that. Then you title it something that's engaging, something that's using those exact same words in the search volume. Right. Um, and then you're using tags. Uh, we can go into tags later. Yeah. Be a, oh, no, that's, I got a, that's a course thing. Yeah. Descriptions. Um, no overview. They just get yeah, no overview. And, and, yeah. And then, um, and then obviously the thumbnail, you know, once somebody uh, finds the video, they, you want them to click. So facial expressions, you know, actions, uh, little words on the top, right, you know, right, that'll right. get people to click. And right, then right. after that, it's all going to be the video, you know, making sure you're talking to the YouTube audience, uh, you know, not just uploading something you did three years ago just to have it up there, which is what I did a long time ago. We never got any growth on it. Right. Um, so you're you're talking to your YouTube audience. You're telling them, hey, subscribe. Uh, hey, leave me a comment, unfortunately, sometimes. But hey, I need that comment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I know what to create another video about because your audience will let you know, hey, Hey, can you explain this? So rather than DMing me or, you know, going back and forth, that's another video I can create now. So I know, you know, if more than one person asks you, you definitely know that's a video that you need to create. Right. Uh, and so th that's kind of the game of YouTube is just knowing what people are looking for, create videos based around that, have a great looking thumbnail that gets people to click and then ultimately uh, watch your video. Mm. Okay. Hey, you write this down, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> we've been we've been trying to get to that first hundred for <laughs> how long? <laughs> and and we're appreciative of the fifty four that we have. We appreciate y'all, yes. but we want to we want we definitely want to grow, and we're uh, still driving to one hundred. So yeah, I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, I have I have a lady. She's uh she's come through my my first my second and now my third YouTube class that I've had and. I didn't even think I'd be doing YouTube classes, but like that's yeah. literally how fast the channel has grown and people are, you know, how, how are you doing it? And so she's right. come through all three and her channel at the beginning of this year, she had about a hundred subscribers before she came through, right. um, you know, upload things in the past, not consistent. Right. Uh, and since coming through, she's had one of her videos now over 12,000 views. Right. And this is just within the last 12, eight weeks that right. video she put up. So right. it is not, typical to get results like that unless you know how to play the game of youtube i you know she came through the class i said you need to create a video on this wow. and you need to use this title and that one video has now allowed her to get podcast opportunities from people wow. she's never known about her video got featured in a, a virtual summit wow. um and she's got people reach out to her nice. through email and call her based off of that one video the complete stranger so you know it, there are so many opportunities in 2020 to create videos about because, like I said, people are just looking for everything. And she's a she's a caregiver. She she wow. takes care of elderly, and she has a video that has 12,000 12, views on it, and wow. she's gotten 130 new subscribers over wow. the last couple of weeks. So wow. her growth has been pretty crazy in an industry where you don't really think about it's it's not popular, you know, but. Just, she's getting growth in that industry because she's creating videos based on what people are looking for um what questions are typing into youtube nice mm. well, so i got now. i got a that's question jump mm -hmm. that's what i'm here for let's knock it out <laughs> <laughs> okay so not digging into your numbers oh but hey go ahead let's dig mon monetarily right yeah oh what is it is it about subscribers or is it about <clears throat> or is it about views excuse me. views views 100 so, yeah. views yeah mm -hmm. i know in order to get and i know with youtube youtube uh in order to get your channel monetized you have to have a certain you have to hit a certain criteria yeah. a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours right and you see that right. watch hour time is four times the amount of subscribers you have so a right. thousand subscribers four thousand uh watch hours right so, so yeah. someone so if you know watching all the way all of your video or the, the time the length of time they actually well, yeah it doesn't even have to be subscribers watching it could be anybody watching it yeah so the length okay. of time in total mm -hmm. okay. so if you got two subscribers and you want to sit there and you want to watch four thousand hours of your own video <laughs> you could you could knock out that portion but you still need hey. a thousand subscribers Subscribers, gotcha. yeah. yeah so okay. let's get to the good part okay mm -hmm. we talked about the the uh the schematics and you know 
the game of YouTube and all that. Let's talk about equipment, shall we? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if, if we're sitting here doing, you know, people who want to launch a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. um, what's the most important thing they're going to need in order to launch this YouTube channel to be effective? Mm. That question sounds easy, but it's complex to me because I tell people I, I, I like to teach this bootstrapping strategy, um, bootstrapping your way to success. So whatever you have, um, you know, start with your cell phone. Everybody has a smartphone. If you can charge it and it turns on, <laughs> then you can use it. Yeah. <laughs> so turn that turn that on landscape mode sideways and start filming yourself talking to the camera. Now, if you want to talk equipment and up, upping that performance, upping that that product uh, production value, audio is going to be number one because if people can't hear you and understand you. They're going to turn away quick. Right. Um, your camera would be the second thing I would upgrade. Uh, there's some if you can get a hold of them now. I mean, there's limited stock. You know, uh, right. 1080p webcams if you can get them. Uh, DSLR cameras. I'm, uh, I was talking to a photographer uh, the other day. She didn't even realize she could turn her camera into essentially a webcam and have high production value. So, you know, lighting is going to be important. Uh, I'm just using one key light off to my left here uh, so that you can see my screen. Uh, there's, you know, we talked about the background a little earlier. This is just a plain wall. Um, in my, my, my most recent YouTube video, I talked about it because I'm moving in. So I haven't had a time to really set up everything and I hadn't really had the time to record a video. So, you know, I just made the point, like sometimes simple is, is good. You know, the best, the best company that's, that's proving that is Apple. Right. Their, their model is so simple. simple. Their commercials are so simple. It, it, that's like a logo and, and right. a white right. background and a logo. And so. Right. Um, you don't have to have all this fancy stuff behind you, um, but sometimes, you know, depending on your audience, it works. You know, I'm looking at AD. I'm, I'm looking at you as well. I'm like, what books do you guys have on the shelves? Uh, right. You know, because maybe that's what's going to draw me into your channel, because right. now I can associate with that same book that I might have on, on my shelf. And right. so, right. you know, you don't need a lot to get started. The main thing is just to get started and, right. and, and putting up the content. Right. Um, that That's the most important thing. Oh, man. And, and get you and get you one of these. Get you one yeah, of these. A, a cam link, a cam link device. These these things are awesome. Um, yes. If you can find them, grab them. <laughs> um, if you want to make a little bit of money on the side, grab a couple and resell them. That's yeah, they, how valuable they are. They, right. he, he's not kidding, y'all. I'm yeah, telling they, you, listening. When we first got sheltered in place, you couldn't find an Elgato cam link anywhere. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Elgato. Yes. In case yes. You know, yes. Uh, yes. Elgato. Elgato. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you. Um, but yeah, when they were sheltered in place, you couldn't find the cam link. And Best Buy had some. And then when I tried to order it, as soon as I got ready to click uh, buy, it was out. Mm -hmm. right. And then Amazon was selling them. But they were price gouged. Mm -hmm. They were selling because these things are retail at what 130, 129? Yeah, about 130, 129. Mm -hmm. They were price gouging at 250. Yep. For these. And I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want that one of those. But notice I said now. I meant that. Now one of those. Um <laughs> but I finally was able to get me one. Now I just need a camera. I mean, I have a camera. So I can show you real quick, but it's not, you know, it's on, it's on this little okay. thing here. Yep. And it worked, uh, but it gave me it gave it to me in 720. I was kind of uh, in front of 1080, so okay, I was a little disappointed in that. So I need to get another camera. So I'm working okay. on that. So it's gonna be GoPro. It's up next. GoPro, <laughs> shout out to GoPro. Yeah, <laughs> GoPro, <laughs> awesome too. <laughs> um, so speaking of which, um, you gained some sponsors. Um, yeah. yeah. How did how did that come about? So one of the things with YouTube we have to realize is that it allows you to create an audience. Okay. And if if you have people, sponsors, uh, partners that have a similar audience, right? They want to connect with your audience, right. and YouTube is a great platform. Uh, and so uh, I think it was right around the eight thousand subscriber mark, and I've heard some people have even less than that, where people will send them. Well, I did have less than that. I've turned down a few. Oh, wow. uh, we'll reach out wow. to you for opportunities to, you know, promote their product or their platform, their software 
um, on your channel, whether that's in the beginning of your, your video where you say, Hey, this video was sponsored by X company, or right. we want to just shout out this company or, or you do a full video on that company's products and services. So, um, one of the most important parts in YouTube is that setup process where it'll actually ask you what's your business email address, because these right. companies know to email that email. Um, right. So you want to make sure it's one in there that you're checking on a regular basis right. and they will email you an opportunity, say, Hey, we had this and we want you to do a video on it. Um, in my case, doing a lot of tech, um, I've gotten the microphone. I, I did a video on the microphone and they just simply email and say, Hey, would you like to review this microphone and you can keep it? So, um, you know, that that's a great way to have equipment that I don't have to pay for. It's right. now I have equipment that I could resell and generate right. revenue that way. Right. Um, it allows me to create another YouTube video to cater to my audience. Right. Um, and so I, I, in the last week, or I, the last week and a half, I have six emails from different companies wanting me to do or inquiring about me doing videos for them. Some of the some of these services I've used in the past for okay. years, which okay. is awesome. So you know now they're going to pay me to right. do a video about them because right. what what happened was they saw a video that had I had already done for them. Okay. You know, I didn't, okay. you know, it wasn't promoting them per se to go in and use a service, but right. I was just saying, because people asked me the question on my other video, right. here's what I use as a solution. And now that company's reaching out. Um, so companies will reach out to you. Uh, I've had small entrepreneurs reach out to me saying, Hey, can you promote our, our platform on right. your channel? So there's ways that you can monetize YouTube without getting to that 1000 subscribers, without gotcha. getting to 4,000 watch hours. You can monetize gotcha. it with affiliate programs at the bottom of your videos. Hey, I use this product. I use this off of Amazon. If you want to buy it, there's a link below, make a commission. Uh, one of my second best performing videos has paid me well every single month. Um, wow. well, and it has 50,000 views compared nice. to the best video that has 150,000 views, which has wow. paid me not nearly as much. So <laughs> it's, uh, there's so many different ways you can monetize the platform, your own courses. Um, I tell people, anybody would have a freemium. I get so many, my business owners I'm talking to, I get at least three to five leads a day from my YouTube channel. Um, just from a freemium, freemium offer, people look right. in the description, they click it, they want it. And every day there's there's new leads in there so you can build your list without nice. really even trying you know i you know I, I just keep telling people just give all your information away don't be scared if someone's going to steal it take it right. like this is the digital age if people right. really want it they're going to take it anyway right but, right but if you give it away at least you can build an audience that right. you're giving so much value to and every view will help you put another penny in your piggy bank because <laughs> these platforms like YouTube will monetize your channel and allow you to generate revenue just from turning on the camera and uploading videos. Wow. So what, oh, well, you don't have to have to give names of course, but what mm -hmm. was the criteria for you turning down some, uh, offers of sponsors? Great question. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked the question. Um, some, some of the platforms I've had one that was an e-commerce platform, which is not really my space directly. Can I talk about it? Yeah. But does my audience really know it? I don't think so. Not well enough. So it, right. it wouldn't perform well on my channel. So I've turned it down because of that. I've had brands that I just didn't feel comfortable with. They just didn't okay. really align with who I felt you know, you know that that it just didn't feel right so i right. turned that down um because you know money isn't everything it, it does well it, it helps turn keeps the lights on and everything but when you create a video and and your name is attached to it right and you're saying hey you know right. i'm working with this company then right. you know you're aligning yourself with that so True. um True. i just felt that wasn't right um so yeah, not every deal is going to be the, the best deal. Not every deal will pay you directly. Maybe they just want something in exchange. Uh, maybe they'll give you a discount on their products and services, but you right. know, there are, there are ways to monetize it. You know, you can definitely counter, um, don't right. be afraid to counter when someone okay. says, Hey, can you do this? Hey, I can okay. do it for X amount of price or, okay. you know, some people want you to create multiple videos, uh, gotcha. how long you actually have to talk about your video. So some okay. companies give you parameters of what right. they want 
right. and you know the, the the more they want the more it's going to charge i'm going to charge them for what they right. want because you, know, you, right. you do a little bit of extra work um right mm. work with sponsors and and uh partners okay cool cool man i'll tell you what i'm sitting here like listening <laughs> and i'm going you know Maybe we should. I mean, this YouTube thing. I've always been scared of YouTube, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's intimidating it, uh, because people are mean, and then you see um, there are some channels that I've seen that just gives this uh, everything's easy type of vibe. Like everybody can do it. Like if you watch, I've watched some videos of, of some vloggers. Uh, my kids watch a lot of YouTube, and they're vloggers. They have these 4K cameras, and they have this, mm -hmm. and they have that. And they're like, "Well, Dad, can't you do that?" Uh, <laughs> no. And, and so, <laughs> listen. I oh, uh, but uh, Pastor's daughter started her YouTube channel. Yeah. And it's and I'm looking like, man, it's exploding. Like it's growing. Yeah. You know, she just started, but you know, like I look at her thumbnails. Like she had one with the books, and she's talking about textbook. She's talking about school. You know, she's she's talking about relevant stuff that mm -hmm. you know pertain to school and things. So I'm I'm kind of watching, learning. Like, okay. You know, because yeah. she's she's in the and she's from, right in the middle of what of great of great content, basically. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, it, it it's got a cool name too. So yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> she's got a yeah. cool name, uh Bri Antoinette. So she's <laughs> because it's right off the tongue, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's it can be intimidating sometimes, but the, the, the key is the thing the takeaway is it's not there's no secret <laughs> to it. Right. It's just right. consistency, it's just um relatability and timing. And time, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and oh. if, if you're ever stru struggling to figure out, okay, what do I create this video about? Right. I, I look for videos that are already doing well. You know, right. what's their title of their video? What are they talking about in their video? And right. if that video has a good amount of views on it, you know, right. there's nothing that's stopping you from creating a similar type of video, saying right. it in your own voice and your own style. Uh, fill in the gaps. Uh, I, I like to look at the, the the comments in their videos to see who, what people are saying. Hey, you missed this. You didn't talk about this. Okay, well, that gives me more that I can put in my video to answer and fill in those gaps. So, you know, looking at what's already performing well right. gives you a good indication of, okay, there's already an audience of people that want to see this type of video. Right. Mm. All right, I'm dropping yeah. nuggets and gems on this yes. one. We got some good nuggets, good nuggets. So again, we appreciate you uh, hanging out, rock with us. Um, of course, name alone, we can find you, Monty Weaver. Or is there? Yeah, name alone, just Monty Weaver on yes. YouTube. Go follow, go subscribe, go hit yes. the bell, hit the like. <laughs> Um, yes, look, yes. if you want to buy anything in the link below, feel free to. <laughs> we don't mind. We don't mind. We don't mind. All right. Oh, so any any closing for you, uh, Terry? Uh, no, I'm going to start my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. So, Monty, don't go anywhere. Okay. Close out. And we appreciate you guys rocking with us. We appreciate you guys hanging. Like he says, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment below. Give us some love. Give us some thumbs up. You give, give yeah. us some thumbs down. It's all good. No, and don't, don't appreciate give you. Down. No, <laughs> thumbs down. I love the thumbs down. I love to see like somebody a video that has a hundred thousand thumbs up and like twenty thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like who are these twenty people? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And I'm like, like no. How do you hate on this this lovely dog? Like the dog. I would tell the twenty people <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. Till all next right. time. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching and listening to the Brothers Who Talk. Brothers Who Talk with Terry and AD. Check us out again next week where we bring you a steaming helping of common sense, laughs, and advice. We can be found on any podcasting platform, iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. We're also on milehighradio.com. Saturdays at 12 Eastern. See you there.